Hey everyone, this is a garden update for the beginning of June. Don't mind the noise of traffic in the background. I live near a major intersection and there's not a lot I can do about it. But it's a nice sunny day so I thought I'd get outside and show you guys what's been uh, going on. These are the beds. The two additional beds are all built, stained, waiting for compost. That should be coming tomorrow. But these are uh, these are tomato plants. Last time you saw them, they were pretty small. This is the strawberry, strawberry cherry tomato. Um, had some really hot days here in the last week or so, and my plants did not wilt at all. They love being in this uh, compost, compost under the straw here. And what's fun about straw, I don't know if you can see this, but you get to grow hay. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. Gives me something to do. But you can see there's a uh, now this is a, uh, oh, what is this, a uh, black cherry tomato. You see there's flowers coming on, trusses, all kinds. This is another one. Trying not to shake the camera too much. These are all black cherries. Now you'll see I have them uh, strung up. Just a string loops up around the top, comes back down, and I use uh, tomato clips. So two clips, and I can adjust it as they need. On the ends, I have, these are Thunder Mountain Longhorn Peppers. They really need to get in the ground. They're in two small pots. They're supposed to go in the new beds, but I wasn't getting the compost quick enough, so uh, I just had to get them in the ground. So there's three on each side of this bed, and they're doing great. They've been in here for several days now. Um, they're really healthy. Couple, couple little bug marks, but no big deal. I uh, have had aphid issues already. Um, but what I do is I come out every morning, and I look over every leaf that I can, and squish them dead with my fingers. It's not the most efficient way to do it, but that's the way I do it. Anyway, these, this entire row of tomatoes are my early girls, early girl bush, and the amount of trusses and flowers and blooms they've put on is just remarkable. I think on either this plant or this one I counted over 15 trusses. 15 trusses of tomatoes. And that one, oop, hey, see that happens too in the heat. That's okay. Like I said, there's plenty. Doesn't bother me that one or two will drop. And then the uh, peppers again on this side. The second bed over here is doing just as good. Uh, this entire row that we'll walk down first are my, uh, what was it, big boy bush. And they are putting on quite a few trusses as well. I only have half of these strung up so far. I just, it got too hot and I went inside. What can I say? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some serious tomatoes here. And this is only the beginning of June. I still have June, July, August, maybe, depending how September is. I may even have September as a growing season as too. But look at all that, it's incredible. Now you see I have marigolds in the middle. They actually started out really scrawny and some bugs are getting at them and something so I just let them be and eventually the marigolds bounce back which is good. Switch over to the other side here. These are uh, something new I'm trying. These are the Burpee Steakhouse tomatoes and the blooms on these things are just, they're huge. I still have to string these up as well. Uh, but you see everything's really healthy. It's like 90 out right now. Haven't had rain for a few days and everything is still quite healthy. I've only watered these beds maybe twice in the last couple weeks. And even then, you know, nothing, nothing waters like real rain. It's just amazing. All right, I sure hope you can see this. This lighting is odd, but uh, these are my, I'm going to go over a couple of my peppers real quick. Uh, these are the ones I started in the seed incubator. 
which I have taken or dismantled. It just, it worked, but it didn't work well enough and it was uh, just not warm enough. That heating pad just wasn't warm enough to heat up that whole area. So that's okay, live and learn, right? But uh, this is a large, thick cayenne. It's just beautiful bush. It really needs to get in the ground bad, but hopefully tomorrow when I get that compost. And then, just bear with me. I have two of them, this is the second one. The stem on these things are awesome. Now this bushed out, I did not prune any of these. You know, besides taking some leaves off or... There we go, hold on. See there's an aphid. And we go squish. And now there's no more aphid. That's how we deal with aphids. But uh, yeah, none of these peppers were pruned. Uh, a few leaves were taken off. But uh, that's not such a big deal. Uh, by prune I mean actually chopping off the limbs. Um, here's this guy, hopefully you can see him. This is a mustard habanero. Uh, the stem on this guy is just unreal. I mean, it's not even in the ground and, you know, I could bend and snap that, but it would take some effort. Oh, there we go. See? Another aphid. Squish, dead, gone. Ah, uh, and I went over all these plants this morning too, so. Apparently aphids like to travel during the day too. I thought they only like migrating at night. Live and learn, right? Alright, uh, let's see what else I got here. This is one of my Buchalokias. This is off the giant plant I grew last year. It ended up being five foot wide and three foot tall. Uh, this guy's got quite a few blooms on him already. And just making sure it's not an aphid and it's not, so everything's good. Uh, I just really gotta get these guys in the ground. I can go over more of these, but they're all pretty much the same. This guy is uh, another one of my habaneros, mustard hob. Same thing, the stem is just unreal. If I were to prune this back, it would it'd grow into a tree. Oop, I see another aphid. I got him. If anything, I always try to get the aphids I see that have wings, because those are the ones that migrate or fly around and lay eggs everywhere. But yeah, these are the peppers that were in the incubator. Well, that's my update. Um, wish I had more going on, but I think that's quite a bit. Um, it's not as big as my past garden, but hey, this is all mine and no one can ever take it away. And once I get those other two beds filled, I'll have more stuff growing. Thanks for watching. Take care.